That featured uh, Jeff Homerickhouse, Ryan Lene, Isaac Gong, Aiden Kurtz, AJ Hesberg, and Ray Clark on the solos. Give them a round of applause, guys. Okay? <laughs> One of the fun things about uh, teaching jazz is we get to explore different styles of music within jazz. Uh, the, the first tune you heard uh, I wrote some time ago, and it's just a blues and B flat. Now we're going to explore the, the hip hop side of things. This tune is called Maximum Velocity.
that featured Chris Hartson on the guitar. Next up, we're gonna play a standard in, in the jazz repertoire. This is called Blues in Haas Flat.
Yeah, Blues and House Flag. That featured Jeff Homerick House on the saxophone. Matt Higgins on the trombone. Sean Smith on the tin saxophone. Isaac Gong on the trombone. And Aiden Kurtz on the trumpet. Our next tune is, uh, the style of music is called reggaeton, which is popular in the Cuban clubs. Um, the drum beat goes something like this. <laughs> we all recognize it. We used to call it disco. But in Cuba, they, they've got a whole style of music over the top of that. They call it reggaeton. And uh, this tune is going to uh, uh, demonstrate that style. And the piece of music is entitled La Negra Tiene un Tumbao. play our last song, I just want to take a few moments to, to acknowledge some nice people. Um, number one, Mr. Steve for uh, asking me to do this. I, I tell you what, that guy works very, very hard trying to organize all the stuff that happens behind the scenes, from uh, organizing the audition material to finding the clinician and getting the folders ready. And I just can't thank him enough. Can we give Mr. Steve a round of applause? For Next up, uh, all the St. Louis suburban teachers that get the musicians to this point that, uh, that I get to come in. It's, it's like test driving a Corvette. It's, 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 it's a blast. And I tell you what, uh, I wish I could tell you that, um, that there was arguing and drama. There wasn't. These, these are some of the finest young men and ladies that I've had to work with because uh, every rehearsal, now, now keep in mind, and I know you know because you dropped them off, but they rehearsed from seven till nine after already a long day of school. They had homework, they came in and they were every bit as chipper and happy and, and easy to get along with at nine o'clock as they were at seven. And I tell you what, that type of behavior only happens with professionals. And these kids are fantastic. So just thank you so much for being awesome for this process.
And thank you for supporting music education and jazz education because it's an investment. It's a it, it's it's an investment in finance by purchasing the instruments, and it's an investment in time. And I tell you what, um, it, just on behalf of the students, thank you for supporting music education. We're going to finish our concert with um, uh, a piece entitled Cold Duck Time, which uh, this style is in the cha-cha. So, um, and, and by and large, I believe this was uh, the favorite song of most of the band. So, um, Sean, what time is it? It's cold duck time. It's cold duck time.